God, crunchy. There's something about crunchy peanut butter, dude. Drives me nuts. Yeah, I love it. So now you're gonna be like, alright. So the key to a perfect morning is a delicious breakfast. Of oh, Skippy. So how many times, the question is how many times was I doing physical activity, getting ready for the draft and everything? I would say it was like, it was every day to be honest. Um, except for like some weekends um, but even then there were some days where I was going in and I was hitting on Saturday or something but it was definitely something that I dedicated at least I was trying to do something physical physical activity every single day like I remember I would always go and hit in the morning in front of like a whole bunch of scouts and then I would go to the gym and some of the scouts would follow me over to the gym and I would just work out so I started working out with Sean who is the owner of Sticks? Which will be there today. Um, when I was, I want to say I was a freshman, maybe a sophomore. Um, he had an old facility out in Oconomowoc, which is like twenty minutes away. And me and a bunch of buddies would always go out there. And his BP is so good that, like, I just kept going to him and kept going to him. And now we've created a friendship where it's like we're best friends and I never really even played for him ever um he's just such a nice guy and he's helped me out but I don't know he uh he's got the best BP I've ever ever hit against as you'll see today but love him I kind of like how I love this peanut butter on here. So today, we're gonna go, we're gonna go take batting packs over at Sticks with Sean. And then after that, it's all done. We're gonna go and do a workout with Brad and Annette over at Next Level. So, stay tuned. Yeah, so let me tell you a little bit about the day when I got traded to the Mariners. I was actually, I was hanging out at my girlfriend's house and uh, we were chilling, watching a movie. And uh, all of a sudden, <clears throat> I remember sitting there and my phone just kept going off. And you know, I'm not somebody to go on my phone like when I'm with people, so I kind of just waited. And, uh, and then even she noticed it and was like, listen, like you can go and check your phone, like go ahead. So I was like, all right. So I go and I check my phone and I uh, I had a text from my buddy Justin Dunn and he goes, he sent me a screenshot of a tweet that said, this just in, um, Mets Mariners deal complete, like, yada, like Diaz Cano to the Mets, Dunn, Jared, Bruce, and like a bunch of other guys to the Mariners and, you know, it was, it was pretty surreal to be honest because like to be included in a trade like that man it's it's just it's something special and usually every trade is for the better and you know i'm going to a team that wants me and, and not to say that i wasn't at a team with the mess and they didn't want me it's just the way it worked out and you know at the end of the day it's it's good to be wanted somewhere so i'm looking forward to it i leave for spring training in about uh, two and a half weeks three weeks and uh, I'm itching at the bit, to be honest, because right now it's a it's a warm six degrees here. So, but yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it. It's yeah, like yeah. Like before I got drafted, I went out to a I went out to Seattle for a pre-draft workout that was at the stadium, and 
and it was a quick trip. I flew out on June 2nd. The draft was on the 4th. Or no, no, no. I flew out on the 1st. The draft was on the 4th. And I was there. <clears throat> I flew in, got in at like 10.30 at night on the 1st. And then the 2nd, I had a workout at the stadium and in front of all the personnel and everything. And I remember being so sick when I got there because I was so tired and I had to eat a lot. And my agent remembers that. And I remember I woke up in the morning and like felt like a million bucks and I went out there and I put on an absolute show and you know for the, the brief time that I was there I fell in love with the stadium right away I thought it was so open I loved it um, but you know I, I really really enjoy Seattle so it was pretty it was pretty cool yeah you know I felt like I felt like Seattle had a, a really high interest just because of a, they invited me out there by myself in front of all their high personnel and everything like that, and that really doesn't happen much. So that was kind of a red flag right there. Um, and then the second thing I would say was, um, during the draft time, during draft day, um, I was on the phone constantly with my agent, obviously, and he was on the phone with teams, and the Mariners were saying that they, they wanted to try to get me to pick, I think, uh, I don't know, remember what they had, maybe it was 12 or something, 14. And um, obviously, I mean, everyone knows that didn't work out. And I went six, but um, but to hear them saying like, you know, they wanted to try to get me to their pick was, I mean, it was kind of heartwarming to, to to know right then and there, like they, like they really wanted me, and they, I was their guy. They, I mean, they, Jerry Depoto said it the best was in one of his press conferences is that in the draft, like I was their guy. And unfortunately, they weren't able to pick me up. But, you know, everything happens for a reason. And so, um, like I said before, like, I'm just really excited to get out and, you know, make a mark in the Mariners organization. When we went out to Seattle on that trip for um, the Christmas trip to charity, as you saw in the last video, um, really got to, like, on our in between of jumping from the hospital to the Boys and Girls Club, we got to you know spend a little time at the stadium and got to have a nice conversation with Jerry Depoto. And I haven't, I don't, I've met him before. I met him before that, um, but it was good. I mean, I mean, he's he's the boss, and you know, it was something that I thought was it was really beneficial for me to you know hear it right from his mouth about what's you know, what he's expecting out of me and, you know, what, I, what he can expect out of me. And when I, when I, and like, when I was talking to him, I was trying to just, you know, tell him exactly who I was. Cause I didn't, I don't think that he f fully understands like who I am yet just cause it's so new. But you know, at the same time, I thought the conversation went really well. Um, we got to met, meet a lot of the guys that are in the analytics side. Um, which is huge in baseball now, so it was really gr it was awesome to meet them. Uh, but being in Seattle was a fun trip, and it was really not only was it beneficial to be with the kids, number one, but it was also beneficial for me to be out there and you know talk to our GM.
my god, I lost that. And the moon.